Welcome everyone. In this overview, we'll look at a pH titration practical. Instead of using an indicator, the pH of a solution is recorded throughout the experiments. The endpoint of the reaction is found by plotting a graph of pH against volume of hydrochloric acid in this example. This video relates to a BTEC Level 3 Applied Science practical, but it is also relevant to second year A-level chemistry students. Let's get started. Here is a procedure that could be used to determine the concentration of sodium hydroxide. The hydrochloric acid is the same solution that you will have standardised in a previous practical. There are links in the description to videos related to each of the practicals in this unit. Pause the video and read the procedure carefully. First, 25cm3 of sodium hydroxide is added to a beaker using a volumetric pipette. The aim of this experiment is to find the concentration of this solution. A magnetic stirrer is used to mix the solution throughout the practical. A pH probe is placed in the solution. This is a sensitive piece of equipment that must be handled with care. You may need to loop the cable over a clamp in a retort stand to secure the pH probe in place. The probe must be fully immersed in the solution but the magnetic stirring flea should not collide with it. A burette is rinsed and filled with the hydrochloric acid solution. The concentration of this solution was determined in the previous practical. The initial pH is read and recorded to two decimal places. There is only sodium hydroxide in the beaker at the start of the reaction, so the pH will be greater than 12. Hydrochloric acid is added 1 cm3 at a time from the burette. The volume of HCl is recorded to two decimal places, as well as the pH. Continue this process until a total of 50 cm3 of hydrochloric acid has been added. Here is a set of exemplar results. You should notice that as the acid is added, the pH goes down. We need to use these results to find the endpoints of the reaction. To do this, plot a graph of pH on the y-axis against volume of HCl added on the x-axis. This can be plotted using a pencil and graph paper or using a spreadsheet package like Excel. The graph that is plotted is known as a pH curve. The shape of the curve shown here is typical for the addition of a strong acid such as HCl to a strong base such as NaOH. The point of neutralization occurs at the most vertical portion of the curve. This corresponds to a pH change from above 7 to below 7 in this case. Using our example, the volume of hydrochloric acid required to reach the endpoints is 32 cm3. I have quoted this volume to the nearest 1 cm3 because hydrochloric acid was added in 1 cm3 portions. Here are some exemplar results that could be obtained using the method discussed. Pause the video and try to work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. First, calculate the amounts in moles of HCl using concentration and volume. This works out to be 3.1552 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. The balanced equation shows that this is a 1 to 1 reaction. 1 mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with 1 mole of hydrochloric acid. At the point of neutralization, the amount of NaOH is equal to the amount of HCl. Finally, work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Concentration is equal to amount divided by volume. 25cm3 of sodium hydroxide was added to the beaker. This has to be converted to decimeters cubed. The concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.12 moles per decimeters cubed given to two significant figures. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care.